We're joined by syndicated radio host Hugh Hewitt and radio host Mike Malloy, who is also nationally syndicated. Hey, John. Uh, hey, you. Hey, now, listen, is this going to be the nastiest, uh, most gutter politic race that we've ever seen? I think so. Uh, if you judge by the White House. I think if you judge by the White House. I think if you judge by the White House press corps this past week on the President's service and the Air National Guard, which was honorable, about which there was never any doubt that it was honorable, and about which the Manchurian chairman, Terry McAuliffe, invented a complete lie, they went to town on that for a week, so I think it is going to be pretty nasty because McAuliffe will say anything and the White House press corps will cover anything. Okay, but you, but about you the I, just, I just saw yesterday that the White House went on the Internet with an attack ad talking about the fact that John Kerry got all these special interests. I, I hope you don't think this is going to be one way. No, I hope it's not one way. I think you've got to fight back. John Kerry began his political career as an anti-war radical, and he has gone left <laughs> since then. I think okay. it's important yeah. okay. to point so that can, out. We, okay, Mike, what, what's your take? Gutter politics for eight months? I mean, I'm not sure I can stand it. No, I don't think I can either, John, frankly, but I think you uh, pretty much just fired the first shot. Um, as far as John Kerry starting his political career. Uh, what did you say, Hugh, with, with gutter politics? Come on, the guy's a war hero. He's not a coward like George Bush. He didn't duck into a champagne unit in the Texas Air National Guard and then disappear like George Bush. So yeah, John, I think it's going to get rough. The Republicans have already started it. Now, right? now well, well, Mike, look, the, the White House uh, released all this information talking about where the president was uh, 30 years ago. I mean, in terms of the National Guard, the Republicans are uh, are saying, well, you know, Kerry was tied into uh, to Jane Fonda, and now <laughs> the, the Democrats are saying, you know, Bush is a wall. I mean, come on, man. I mean, Je look, I, I have seen, I have seen the photograph of of Jane Fonda and John Kerry. I'd like to see a photograph of George W. Bush showing up for his duty in Alabama. The photograph that really has gotten to me, though, is the photograph of Donald Rumsfeld and but, Saddam Hussein right after they made the yeah, deal but, but on, Mike, on Mike, chemical Mike, weapons Mike, of mass look, destruction. 30, Mike, 30 years ago, sure. and the president has pay records and a whole host of other things. I mean, no, that doesn't mean anything. spending time on this? That doesn't mean anything. Um, if, if George Bush can produce one shred of evidence, how about his daily sign-in sheets? where when you show up to serve your time in the National Guard, there's a record kept daily. What they, were, what they released at 6.30 last night was, was uh, 400 pages of gibberish. All George Bush has to do is come clean, and, and I, I don't think he can, All right, because let's get he's got to come take. clean. Okay. You, you, what, what's uh, John, your take on it? They release a lot of information. How do you see this? I, I looked very carefully through that today, John. There's a very important couple of details in there. George W. Bush was a hell of a fighter jet pilot. He was ranked quite <laughs> extraordinarily competent. And I think what the Democrats have done here is invited to be placed on the center of the table a very important fact. Fighter jet pilots, I've known a couple, I'll bet you have as well, are extraordinarily competent young men. They're trusted with huge machines. They make life and death decisions on a moment's notice. And it is to the president's great uh, benefit that this part of his life is coming forward. The lies that have been out there for a week in which Mike has repeated. By the way, Mike, I saw on your website you referred to the Bush criminal family, if we want to talk no, about No, 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 the Bush crime, Bush crime family. Bush crime the Bush family. crime family. Right, so exactly. So I, I think what we're going to be in for is for a left-right conversation where the right is going to focus on the votes of John Kerry, which put him to the left of Ted Kennedy over 30 years, and oh, the left please. is going to focus on nothing. And I think that's a good setup, John. I think you win that round. No, no, I'll day, tell you what, Hugh, I'll tell you what the... the middle of okay, hold, hold on a second. I'm, let me ask a question. Mike, look, you know, I, I'm hearing you guys going back and forth. Now, you've got a website talking about the Bush crime family. And everything. Where, right, when does exactly. this end? Uh, I mean, it when ends the nastiness when, end? Well, you know, I used I, to be I, in Congress. It was nasty. I was there. I, I didn't hate the yeah, other John, side. Why John, are we hating everybody here? John, I remember when you were in Congress. I remember... Um, uh, Newt Gingrich's Congress. I remember the ugliness that came out of the Republican Party. Um, you know, for the Republicans to fall back now and say, oh, 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 things are getting nasty, you folks invented it. Newt Gingrich had his word list, his phrase list. Listen to your other guests talking about John Kerry as if the man hadn't served his country, both in the military and in, in the yeah. political arena. Well, Mike, uh, I'm, not, you know, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to about Newt, but here's what I do know. You I know don't. when I was there, no, I know this. I know that we You never were, heard we of Newt Gingrich's on, word me, list? Hold on a second. Let sure. me just tell you. You talk about nude or the Republicans being nasty. The last time I checked, we were accused of throwing grandma out in the street and, uh, and yeah. doing all kinds of nasty things. And you know what? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Well, the fact is, we didn't. So I, I don't know where you're coming well, from on well, that. Frankly, well, that now, well, you're on, now you're playing on my part of the field. Where, where I'm coming from, John, take a look at 3 million lost jobs. Take a look at the lie put out there by the Bush crime family where it concerns a Medicare prescription drug benefit. Take a look at the lies about the so-called tax cut. You don't know where uh, the American public is? John, you've been out of politics too long. No, but what, I, what I'm going to say to you is I, 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 I get nothing but vitriol coming out of you. I'm really sort no, of you surprised get truth. by this. No, Does sorry, this John. appeal to people? Sorry, okay, John. Well, you're not, you, no, you're, no, you're not getting vitriol. You're getting truth. That, this, see, this is what the right does. When somebody speaks you the know, truth, you know, Mike, it's labeled let vitriol. Let me just tell you this. You know, one thing I sure. learned in politics <laughs> is you don't question people's character, call them liars, say they're criminals. Unless they lie. Unless they lie. Well, that's everything in your opinion. That's, that's in everything, your opinion. Well, no, right, it's you, not, look, it's you, not my me, opinion. Yeah, it is your opinion. When you call somebody, when you call the Bush family criminals and you start calling people liars, you know what I'd like to you, hear? I'd like to hear one. I'd like to hear one why single you're on satellite one radio because you right, can't get on regular radio. Now you, I'm going to go back to you. You, what can what? Who do you think the Democrats need to pick in order well, to be more effective? In order to have a, uh, I'm I'm glad we lost the guy because I'm tell you something. On this show, we want to have people come on. We don't want people John, uh, calling the president criminals, and we don't want yeah. we don't want our side, the Republican side. I happen to be a Republican. I'm pretty fair on this show. It's fair and balanced. But what I'm going to say is, we're not. I'm not going to tolerate Republicans calling John Kerry traitor or bad names like that. Of course not. Nor will you ever hear a responsible Republican do that. Each week uh, on my radio program, I bring on Peter Beiner to the New Republic. I bring on Joshua Micah Marshall. I like to have an above board, intelligent conversation like your shows, John. But what you just heard from Mike is what. Uh, Terry McAuliffe has brought the Democratic Party to when he called the president AWOL last week. That's a very vicious charge. It's unsubstantiated. There's not a shred of proof in it. We do not deal in charges without proof. But We're you, not let, doing it tonight. Let, let, let me ask you this. First of all, I think it's both sides have engaged in, in some pretty nasty tactics. Now, we have really big problems out there. Social Security, Medicare, I bring this up just about every week. When are we going to stop the warfare, have an election based on the issues? I put my best stuff out, you put your best stuff out, we choose, and then we sit down and fix these big problems together. I, I think that we're poisoning the water. Look at this tonight. This is terrible. Well, yeah, but John, you didn't do it. I didn't do it. I wanted to talk about the war. I wanted to talk about John Kerry's record in Congress, where you probably observed him for all your years, though you're on the other side. My friend David Dreyer and I like to say when we talk on the radio show every Monday, a good friend of yours, that if we can stick to the issues, Republicans win, especially in wartime. That's why you saw Mike leave. You were forcing him to talk about issues. He wants to throw things around like crime family. He wants to be McAuliffe. And, and you know what? I hope they give him a 24-7 cable channel because the American public is sick of it. I don't think both sides do it, though, John. I'm going to disagree with you. I think the Bush White House is principled. I think they're focused. I think they're gentlemanly, perhaps even to a fault, as with this uh, war record issue. They did not call McAuliffe on it, and I wish they had, because if we do stick on the issues like you've done tonight, uh, it's going to be beaten like a bongo drum come November, because the American people are sick of the politics of personal destruction of Terry McAuliffe and of Mike Malloy. They're sick of it. But you, I think at the end of the day, this is going to be a razor-thin election, isn't it? No, I'm not with you on that. I think that when we get down to the fall and we focus on the fact that we're in the war and that the president is a great wartime leader, I don't mean a good one, I mean a great one, that he is going to win significantly north of 40 states because the American people know we are in a war. And if we make the wrong choice about this war... John, if i got a moment, I'll tell you something from uh, uh, John Kerry's 1971 testimony that's very relevant. When he, when he was asked about what would happen when America would leave Vietnam, he said that Perhaps 2,000 or 3,000 Vietnamese might have to be given sanctuary because they would suffer uh, repercussions. His judgment hasn't improved. 750,000 Vietnamese went into re-education camp. 130,000 had to flee as boat people. John Kerry had bad right. judgment in 71. He's still got it All today. Right, you, I, I think I, we're going to re-elect I think Bush. we're going to be judging the guys on the basis of what the heck's going on uh... today and in recent time and i think the thirty years ago we got to forget about all that and move on and uh... you know what i'm very disappointed that we can't get here and have an aggressive debate and just keep the name calling out of it i'll tell you we're going to have eight months and here at heartland i'm going to try to police it i want to thank you for being with us Come